We're going to begin this morning with three presentations. The first one is a proclamation recognizing Domestic Violence Awareness Month by me, and I'm very pleased to be joined with, uh, by County Executive uh, Mark Elrich and uh, uh, the, president, the, per, the Chair of the Domestic Violence uh, Coordinating Commission, Commission Debbie Feinstein, and, with, and who we're gonna hear from in a few minutes. And with that, we're gonna ask the County Executive to please lead off with some words. So thank you very much, um, and I'm really happy to be part of this this morning. Um, we know that uh, COVID-19 has not slowed this down. This is one thing that uh, the virus has not managed to stop in our lives. And uh, domestic violence continues to increase. And, you know, one of the problems is with, you know, normally when people go to work and they're in contact with other people, other people can see what's happening, or you might say something to a partner or to a coworker, or to a friend that you encounter. There are multiple ways that people might be able to get support and get help. But when everybody is in the same house all the time together, the risks are greater and the ability of a person to reach out for help is lesser. So, you know, we understand what's happening. Um, and uh, we're here and continue to be here to help people who need help. Um, domestic violence doesn't just affect the victim, and the, the direct victim, but in a family, the children are victims, whether they are the victim of the violence itself or they're the observers of violence. It is emotionally wrenching. Um, it is, uh, it's inexplicable to children. They don't understand this behavior and it sets just horrible models and expectations for young people. You know, you, you grow up and you think you're in a normal world and then these things, you know, happen and is this normal? Is this what life's about? And that is a lifetime, you know, long-term damaging effect that uh, the domestic violence has on, on all, everybody in the family. So this is really important to us. Um, that's why we're here to help. We're, you know, we're doing this proclamation today, the Family Justice Center, a remarkable creation. My you know, former colleague, Dutchie Trachtenberg, played a big role in that. Um, this is probably one of the most important things we do. And uh, I just want to let you know that I you know, continue to support it. Uh, we'll do what we can to make sure that this is one of those things that does not get dinged. If we have to do, you know, if there are budget hardships, this is not a place to visit another hardship on people. Um, so we want to make sure that this um, endures um, whatever whatever comes down the road, that this is one of the signature things that we keep doing. So thank you, Debbie, for your work. It's been, you know, truly um, important for us to, ha to have somebody in the county government who's taken this on and uh, your leadership and the leadership of everybody else there in the center is just has just been absolutely critical so th thank you very much well thank you um i'm we're going to hear from debbie in a couple seconds uh, she's the chair of this now uh, i'm the former chair of the domestic violence coordinating committee and i'm still on the board and the good i do know that is as the county executives mentioned that the good work that they do um, also, I uh, want to mention the Montgomery County Family Justice Center Foundation is holding its first virtual 11K through the month of October, and it's obviously October 2020 is Domestic Violence uh, Awareness Month. And I want to publicly thank, and we had mentioned this right before the, the uh, video, be, uh, the uh, Zoom began, but I want to play up, uh, personally thank and, and publicly thank the amazing Catherine Albernaz for who's the chair of the event uh, this year, and um, and what a wonderful job she's done. And now she's getting applause from a person, somebody she might know. I mean, from a fellow by the name of Gabe, uh, who we also know. But I also want to mention that that uh, that she is uh, is truly taking this event to an unbelievable uh, moment. Uh, the number 11 is significant because this year marks the 11th year that the Montgomery County, uh, the MCF, JCF, has supported victims of domestic violence and their children. Um, participants in the event can walk, run, or stroll 11K, which is a little over six and a half miles, anytime, any place during the month of October. 
I actually have completed my 11K, um, but my wife, Sally, is on the planning committee as well. And she told me, even though I've completed my 11K, which I thought was pretty significant for me, um, that that doesn't mean that we stop at 11K. So wasn't the best news for me, but I'm going to continue to walk if the weather is good. Um, registration runs through October 30th, and um, the participation supports victims of domestic violence by providing pro bono legal aid, emergency transportation, specialized counseling services, financial literacy training, emergency care kits, diapers and formula, and the list goes on. And with that, I'm going to ask uh, Debbie to please say a few words, and also if she could please introduce the people who have joined us as well. Please. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning. Thank you so much, uh, Councilmember President uh, Katz and uh, County Executive Elrich. Uh, so as uh, Councilmember Katz said, my name is Debbie Feinstein. I am the current chair of the Domestic Violence Coordinating Council. And um, my primary job is I'm chief of the Special Victims Division for the Montgomery County State's Attorney's Office. The Domestic Violence Coordinating Council is a collaborative of many different organizations in the county, um, as well as public members. And it includes um, Health and Human Services, the Family Justice Center, uh, the Commission for Women, and uh, many other organizations uh, that I'm privileged to, to have the opportunity right now to, to chair the council um, and to work towards preventing domestic violence in our community and educating our community about it. I'm, Honored today to be joined by the Acting Director of Trauma Services for Health and Human Services, Dornay Hill. She's also the Director of our Crisis Center in Montgomery County and has really been on the front lines of um, receiving uh, domestic violence victims as they come into the Crisis Center, as well as many others who are in crisis in our community. Um, and I'm also joined by Tom Mannion, who is the director of the Family Justice Center and the vice chair of the Domestic Violence Coordinating Council, um, who also has been on the front lines as the Family Justice Center and the Crisis Center have remained open throughout our uh, the COVID-19 pandemic to receive victims of domestic violence, to support victims of domestic violence and their families and their children. Um, as County Executive Elrich mentioned, children who are exposed to domestic violence um, it is a, a very difficult childhood experience for a child to, to go through, um, and there are specific services available for children through the Family Justice Center and Safe Start. Um, so if you or a family member or a neighbor or someone that you're concerned about um, is being impacted in any way by domestic violence, please reach out. Please reach out to the Family Justice Center. Please reach out to the Crisis uh, Center and, and get help. You are not alone. Um, and I'm so thrilled today that the council and the county executive are recognizing Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It's an important um, time in the in this in the year, but domestic violence obviously is not limited to uh, October. Domestic violence awareness is not limited to October. Um, we were privileged earlier this year to um, receive incredible support uh, from the county executive's office and the police department um, to launch our family violence prevention campaign. Um, and that's with the support of so many others and, and the support of the council um, in, in pushing that forward and making sure that our community knows that services are open and available. So please reach out. Um, if you are a victim of domestic violence, you are not alone. And thank you again for this recognition um, and uh, for all of the work that the council and the county executive's office does year round um, to safeguard victims of domestic violence um, and to educate our community on this important issue. So thank you again. Thank you. And we certainly want to mention and thank uh, the state's attorney, John McCarthy, and the sheriff, Darren Popkin, for all of their hard work. They're, they're truly their offices truly uh, work with us every day. So we, we thank them as well. And with that, Mr. County Executive, I think we have a proclamation to read. I believe so. I, I believe so. And if, would you like to start off and then we'll go back and forth on it? How's sure. That sound? Sounds good to me. Whereas on average, 20 people per minute are physically abused by an intimate partner in the United States. In one year, this equates to more than 10 million women and men and Whereas one in three women and one in four men have been the victims of some form of physical violence by an intimate partner in their lifetime, one in three adolescents is a victim of physical, sexual, emotional, or verbal abuse 
from a dating partner. And one in 15 children are exposed to domestic violence each year and Whereas October is National Domestic Violence Awareness Month and the Montgomery County Family Justice Center located in Rockville, Maryland, offers free confidential services to women, men, and children impacted by domestic violence and information uh, about the Family Justice Center is available online in courthouses, on ride on buses, and in their community centers across Montgomery County <clears throat> through easily understood messages such as are you afraid of your partner? Free help is available. This essential information is published in 16 different languages to reach community members from diverse backgrounds and... Whereas the Montgomery County Domestic Violence Coordinating Council offers education and resources for community members, including Choose Respect Montgomery, which is a teen dating violence prevention initiative, and together we can reduce the incidence of domestic violence to public awareness now, therefore, it be resolved that the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby proclaims the month of October 2020 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in Montgomery County. We ask our community to recognize the pervasive problems of domestic violence, to support our friends and families in the process of seeking services, and to spread the word about the help available at the Family Justice Center, and it is signed by the County Executive, Mark Elrich, and me, Sydney Katz, as the President of the County Council. Thank you all for everything that you do. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing this. And thank you again. And uh, I, I just want to mention, um, I think that uh, some language may have been inadvertently omitted from the proclamation about the crisis center and the abused persons program. I just want to mention um, our partners <clears throat> at the crisis center and abused persons program as, as vital resources in our county. Um, that provide services to victims of domestic violence. Um, and again, the fact that all of these services are open during COVID-19. Uh, and thank you again for the recognition. Thank you. And Debbie, if you'll let us know, we can actually change this. Uh, I know that the county executive has an extra signature with him, so we can actually change this proclamation to, to include what is necessary to include. No thank problem. You so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.